Hey everyone, welcome to Gains HU. By the way, my name is Neil, and today's video I would like to show you the unboxing of Gigabyte Z270M D3H motherboard from Gigabyte. And this is a new series motherboard and a new series of chipset from Intel 270 series. So this motherboard is LJ1151, which is compatible on 6th gen and 7th gen processors. But if you look at back, there is Z170 series that is designed for 6th gen processors and C270 series is designed for 7th gen processors. But this motherboard supports both 6th and 7th. So if you have a 6th gen processors, you don't have any problem on this installing the 6th gen processor on this motherboard. So it has a DDR4. It's a DDR4 3866 plus megahertz XMP ready means you can overclock your DDR4 RAM via XMP profile. It has a USB Type-C which is faster than the previous generations of USB 2.0 or 3.0 and you can install your NVMe SSD because it has an NVMe PCIe 2210 M.2. It's a, it is a VR ready and it has a smart fan technology. That's it and let's look at, at the back of the motherboard box here you can see a uh, small uh, deals about the z270 md 3 h motherboard from gigabyte and here it has a smart fan smart, smart fan, fan five. five this is a uh, software monitoring software for from gigabyte so that you can adjust your fan speed so that you have lower temperatures and here it supports two-way crossfire multi-graphics card if you have an AMD graphics card it supports crossfire you can use this motherboard because it has two PCIe express lane and Intel Gigabit LAN with CFOS speed with internet accelerator networking which is quite faster because it is gigabyte gigabit LAN not the gigabyte LAN and NVMe PCIe Gen 3x2210 MD2 connector. You can meet me. You can install your M.2 SSD, which is up to 32 gigs, faster than SATA 3. Connecting future USB Type C, the world's next universal connector, and it has a long life span solid capacitor, anti-silver resistor, audio noise guard with ambient LED trace path lightning. High-end high audio components, high-definition multimedia interface. So here's a details of specifications from Gigabyte Z270M Nitrate motherboard. It supports 7th and 6th gen Intel Core processors, both i7, i5, and i3, or Pentium Z series. LJ1151 Z270M Z270 chipset. One PCIe 3.0 and and one port for, for times four times four HDMI DVI DD sub dual channel DDR4 four DIMMs PCIe three SATA rated zero one five and ten USB audio eight channel audio gigabit LAN and some micro ADX motherboard. So enough for that. Let's open this motherboard. open this motherboard right now but I'll just get to put the motherboard here and let's check what's inside of this motor from this inside of Gigabyte Z270M motherboard and as you see it has a manual from Gigabyte just in case if you have a problem or if you want uh, if you have a questions or answers here in the uh, no I mean question on how to install this motherboard you can read this manual Second is we have a uh, disk installation disk. If you have uh, this is an installation, and just in case if you want to get the driver of the motherboard, and it has the monitoring software here in inside, and it has a backplate. It's a ordinary backplate. It's made from silver. It's a silver. It's a plastic. It's made from plastic, and it's. Color, it's silver 
and the last is it has uh, two pieces of SATA cables the other one is a uh, right angle shape there it is so there's no enough or like stickers or any other accessories or promos from Gigabyte so let's focus now on the motherboard as you see I already removed the motherboard on the anti-static bag and the box so here's the Gigabyte Z270 MD3H motherboard and it's color black matte black there with the mix of parallel lines that is color gray yeah so here you can install your Intel Core i7, i5, i3 or Pentium G 6th gen or 7th gen processor here in the this is the socket and it has uh, four DIMMs, four DIMM slots uh, you can install your RAM this motherboard supports up to 64 gig of DDR4 and it's a dual channel and it's uh, black and color gray these are two color color coded slots here and here it has uh, two PCI PCI slots and two PCIe Express line Express lane slots times 16 and times 4 you can install two way you can install two way crossfire graphics card or two AMD graphics card because this motherboard supports AMD crossfire technology but you can also install your Nvidia graphics card but you can't do you can't do two two way SLI because this motherboard is crossfire 3.0 they are both 3.0 this is time 16 and times 4 and, and what else and we have a heatsink over here that this is the gigabyte heatsink north bridge and the other one is ultra durable south bridge and here we have a fun headers other one is for the system fun or zoom it's quite focus there and it has a CPU fun you can install you will put the he uh, CPU fun header over here and over here at the, in the lower side you will put your system this is for the system fan 3 and system fan 2 you can install system fan up the tree because it has a three headers another one is for the CPU fan this is the fourth one and that's a uh, for the here, let's check it out yes this this will be the ambient LE LED track it's, it's color yellow this is dual this is the bias and here's the audio slot com LPT and TPM and USB 2.0 slots and this is for the front panel connectors and at the side you will see you will put your SATA, uh, SATA cables or for your hard drive or for your DVD ROM and here's the USB 3.0 slot and over here this is the PCIe NVMe for the M.2 slot for the M.2 SSD over here for the power you see you will see a 24 pin power slot and a 8 pin slot there it is at the side you will see the interfaces for the for the peripherals we have here uh, for the 8 channel audio HD and this for the audio jacks for microphone and other multimedia jacks or for the, if you want to insert something for your if you are creating music or if you want to listen to some music and here it has uh, four, four USB 3.0 slots. Uh, four, no, I mean six. One, two, and this is four, and the other one is plus two, it's six. And this is the DVI slot and VGA, USB Type C. There. And the Gigabit LAN over here and the HDMI so what we have else what do we have here again that's it it's color black at the back you can see the LED 
ambient lighting for just in case if you already set up this motherboard so that's it, guys so thank you for watching my quick unboxing of Gigabyte Z270 MD Trich and please don't forget to subscribe GameDisk HU for more unboxing and tech reviews.